with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 3 of 4 Etc. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven got speed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashawa. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Vegan side effect. Get used to invisible guards 24-7. Supreme Master's Shanghai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Hello master. Hello, master. Hello, master. Hi, hi. I forgot your number. <laughs> <laughs> you keep changing. I keep calling the wrong number. I forgot. I forgot which one. Too many things. Too many numbers. Too many things for me to do. Hey, how are you guys? We are fine, oh, yeah, master. master. How are you, master? Oh, <laughs> I don't like. I don't like my life. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I prefer, you know, the, the LA, the Master TV system from V4, because at that time I didn't have any instruments to check on. <laughs> Not too much, mostly just the script, and I didn't connect with anybody, so I didn't have a chance to offend any of you. Oh. The relationship is better <laughs> somehow. <laughs> no, it's, okay. it's just too much work, you know, with Supreme Master Television, with business, with residents and non-residents, egos, competition, uh, whatever. Uh, sometimes I just feel a little bit tired. <laughs> right, I understand. Yeah, upset. But how are you guys? Handsome guys. We are good, master. Good, master. Good, master. Thank you, master. You change places again, then you feel better now? You settle down now? Yes, 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 master. yes master. Okay, truly, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, then you still stay handsome. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I felt like you guys are so lovely, lovely. Just one time, you know? Yeah. It's like if I'm around, I could hug each of you guys. That's what I felt one day. Oh, wow. Wow. Anything special some days ago? No. No, Master. Maybe after you change place, is there anything? We're happy to come here. Ah, okay. Good. That's all, huh? Okay. Yes, Master. Now, if you're happy, why? I want to hug you guys. <laughs> 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 is there a connection? <laughs> yeah. I just felt like that, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> 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 Even if I'm around, you know, I think I better keep a healthy distance, okay? <laughs> yes, master. yes, master. If I hug you guys, you might want to be hugged again and again, and I don't have time for all that. <laughs> yes, understand. Yes, master. We are in the spirit together. We don't have to be physical. Yes, yes, yes master. master. That's right. 
And when I say you are handsome, I don't just look at your physical. I forgot how you look like already. It's been a long time that I haven't seen you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because your inside is good. So outside people will think you're handsome. Yes. Yes, master. Master. Well, I don't think you're ugly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> are you? <laughs> no, uh, no, you're not, okay? Uh, you're handsome. In my heart, you are. Because the more selfless, the more contented you feel inside your heart, uh, the more you, you want to help the world, help others, you know, in any way you can, the more handsome you become. Yes. Yes, yes Master. It's abstract, of course, that's the truth. I like that when you are handsome, because inside you are good, so you radiate this kind of very uh, attractive atmosphere. Yes, yes Master. Understand. So don't go for it if any girl comes to you and says, Oh, I like to be with you. Don't <laughs> fall <laughs> into that trap. <laughs> <laughs> they are just attracted to you because you have good energy. These are so called handsome energy. Right. Yes, Master. yes. And when I say you're handsome, don't have any illusion that I'm in love with you uh, or something like that. Okay? No, yes, eh? Master. No, yes, yes, no, Master. <laughs> Because if you feel like that, then you become possessive. I don't know, men are funny sometimes. <laughs> I hope you're not, but some men are funny. Even if the woman just looks at him, he thinks that she likes him already. I, I saw so many situations. It's laughable. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can be proud of yourself for feeling that you're handsome physically. Do you? No, master. No, master. You don't feel proud of your physical appearance. No, huh? No, 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 no master. master. No. Well, I hope not. It's good for you not to. Even if you are physically handsome, but beauty is not skin deep. There was a story before. A man who had two wives a long, long time ago in China when they still allowed that. He had two wives. One was ugly and one was beautiful. But he loved the ugly one more than the beautiful one. Oh, right. Yeah, because the beautiful one thinks she's beautiful. No, that she's beautiful. <laughs> but the ugly one is more humble. Mm, yeah. Yes. 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 More like uh, less showy, less uh, dominant, less arrogant. Yes, Master. Yes, master. In Vietnam, we say, Cái nét đăng chết cái đẹp. Meaning, your personality, your behavior, your real nature will beat up the beauty, the outward beauty. You understand that, right? Yes. yes. Yes, Master. Meaning your good personality will beat any beautiful outward appearance. So that story that I told you now, it just demonstrates it. Mm. Yes. Yes. Sometimes people may look beautiful or handsome, but they are not all that lovely. I understand, yes. Master. I understand. Not lovable, not uh, amicable. Yes, Master. So it depends on how you feel like <laughs> inside and then that's how people react towards you outside if you have less ego then you are more beautiful more handsome that is a trick I don't think you have a lot of ego right now the way I trim you <laughs> <laughs> you should thank me you know yes yes, master. yes. Thank, thank you master, master. thank you master, thank you, master. Moreover, more recently, we had to work very closely because no one else is around you and no one around me anyway. So <laughs> that's the thing. So I had to really trim you a lot. And I'm sorry if it hurt you in any way. I mean, your ego. I'm sorry. Okay? It's Understand, okay. Master. Thanks, Master. But it's good for you. The way I trim you, even hell would stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, stay away from you because the devil is scared to be connected or have a bilateral <laughs> problem. <laughs> if they are near you, they might get a bilateral problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So that means hell will spare you. Okay? They're too scared. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not scared because you know I won't harm you in any way. You know, I'm just trimming your, trimming your ego. Ah, you should thank me. Yes, thank you, Master. Even the devils, I'm scared of that. Anyway, you don't see any devils who are around you, do you? We can't see. We can't see. No, them. no, Master. <laughs> uh, 
you ask me how I am, and <laughs> I want to tell you many things. Yeah, it's uh, it's not uh, all that convenient to be alone, especially with so much work. But uh, I feel good about myself. I <laughs> sometimes I feel proud that I can overcome many difficulties thanks to God's help. And also, when I am in a difficult situation, I can uh, develop a different IQ to deal with it. And also, I have extra new talents. For example, please tell us. For example, I don't have to wash dishes every day. I hate washing dishes. Oh. I put them all in one bucket or something, cover it, and then I wash them when it's full at one time. Oh. Mm. Like uh, every three days, because if I live alone, I don't have a lot of dishes to wash, you know, why wash every day, what for? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it saves time, and thinking all the time how to save time, how to be more effective, how to be uh, happier in my uh, unfavorable situation and difficulty. Mm. Yeah, like for example, I just use any wood pieces to make a table. Whoa. Yeah, I just put a couple of buckets underneath of a piece of wood, and that becomes a table when I don't have any. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. yes. And of course, it is not high. So I can use a lower bucket to sit like a seat. And in some other place, I use like two boxes that oh. are already there somewhere. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, and oh. put some towel on it or something. Right. So softness, and then I can work well. Oh. Yes. Yes, Master. Don't you feel proud of me? Yes, yes. Well done, Master. <laughs> Very ingenious. Very creative. <laughs> I'm a genius, right? Yes, yes Master. Master. Yes. I can invent a table <laughs> and a seat. <laughs> Wonderful. A chair to sit uh, with a toolbox. <laughs> wow. A table with a piece of wood and a bucket. Anything you can make, you know, if you have a piece of old wood and you go wash it. And if you don't have a bucket, you can ask to buy one. You know, nowadays, you can have even delivery for anything you need. Yes, yes, yes Master. Just uh, open the door, <laughs> put the money there, <laughs> <laughs> and then take your thing inside. You can ask in advance how much, and then you leave the money outside, and then they will just put it there for you or whatever you want. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Very simple. You just hide the money under something. So only they will know. They go get it. And you get your things. And I don't need to order a table or anything. It's too much trouble. I don't know if I can stay somewhere very long anyway. Due to some risk or some protection for security. Because I don't have any bodyguards. So if you are together, it's easy. Nobody really bothers you too much. You can buy anything you need. Don't listen to me and then go buy buckets <laughs> 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 and look in the garbage uh, area for some uh, discarded uh, pieces of wood. No need, okay? You buy what you need. We have enough money for all that. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. I am not a billionaire as I thought. <laughs> 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 I thought I was a multi-billionaire. No, but the money is all in the work and taken care of by different people, not taken care of by me. Oh, I can have some if I need it, but I need very little. It's not because we don't have money that I have to make a table out of nothing like that or make a seat out of a, a toolbox, but it's just convenient and quick. Understand, understand, understand. yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I have a bathtub and if I don't have a kitchen, for example, then I can wash all the things in the bathroom. I can look for some uh, discarded uh, piece of uh, hard plastic or wood and then I put it on one side of the bath and then I can cover one side of the bathtub if I have a bathtub. Then I can put the washing things up there. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. The pots and pans and stuff, when you wash, you can put it on that piece of wood or plastic on top of the bathtub. Yeah? Yes. 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 And for a long, long, long time ago, before you even knew me, we rented a haunted house and there was a bathtub and I used that to grow soy sprouts. I grow many layers of sprouts in that bathtub because the bathtub is always big, so convenient. I just <laughs> to turn on the tap and then water it. Wow. Turn on the shower <laughs> yes. and water it right there. 
<laughs> no big deal work. And I used to sell them before to earn the living. <laughs> oh, yes. When people came to see me or listen to me, I sold them. Because I had to go and buy them in the market anyway, so they could buy them there. And they give as much money as they wanted in the box. I didn't ask how much. I also didn't know how much. <laughs> they took as much and they gave as much as they thought properly. And that's how I used to live before. And I had many monks also, and we planted also other vegetables outside in the garden. And we sold them some. So we had a little bit to survive, but we didn't have a lot of clothes at that time for the month. So I have to share with them my clothes that I had before. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. We were happy. We were happier than now. <laughs> 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 I mean, I had more time than now and more tranquility, more peace than now. Now I have too much work, too much work. Yes, Master. Too much work to make a business, to have a business, to have uh, enough finances to support us for the Master Television and many of our little humble charity. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. But God gives it. God gives it. God makes it work. God makes my business okay. Because God knows my intention is pure and good. So God makes it happen. Okay? It's not all my, nothing is me. Yeah, you just be good and then God will give you anything you need. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's all I can advise you and anybody. You just be pure, be good. And then God will arrange everything. It will happen your way. It will come your way, whatever you need. But not what you greed, of course. Yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And anywhere I live, I could always be happy. Maybe less than... I should have been, but I'm always happy. Yeah. And nowadays, if you live in near the city, you can always make money or find a job. But if I live in the forest, I would go and look for wild edible food. Wow. Oh, yes. Yeah, everywhere you have those things. But you have to have a big enough forest, otherwise there won't be enough. It doesn't have to be very big, but you have to have land and grows bushes, trees and stuff like that. Where there are things growing. Understand, Master. Yeah, and if you have some beans, you can always grow them in the ground. They will grow. And even if you have a small house, you can put up a, a fence. Those are fences that have big holes in them. Always like a normal fence that you fence around the house. Yes, 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 master. yes. And you grow some beans underneath. Oh, yes, mm. yes. You can put this fence up against the wall or against any tree. Mm. Or just uh, uh, put them up together like a triangle. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. yes. And then you can grow beans uh, underneath, you know, at the bottom of it. And then the beans will grow and crawl on top of it. And you can grow even tomatoes in between these uh, triangle <laughs> spaces. <laughs> you can grow cucumber also. In that way, they can grow. Yes, yes, yes master. Mm. So you don't even need a big garden to grow things. Mostly gardens, you fence it in and then you just grow things on the fence. Mm -hmm. And you could even grow salad or vegetables for one person. You can grow things and be self-sufficient all year round. It depends on the weather and the other things. Or you, you can cover them with plastic, then it becomes like a greenhouse. Oh, yes. Mm, yes, oh. yes. Between the fence, in the corner of the fence, you make a greenhouse. Or some net, it depends on what kind of plant and what kind of weather. And you can even grow a uh, salad and those edible things uh, on such a fence. If you attach some, if you don't use those uh, plastic bottles anymore, you can fill them with soy and you stand with them and you tie them on the fence. Hmm. Tie them one by one one row after another like that, and they will grow in these cut in half plastic bottles, but you have to drill some holes in order for the water to come out. And then you just water them, and they will grow very big. And it's edible. You can harvest and eat them, and then you don't cut the whole thing at the root. You cut maybe five centimeters. If left, they will grow again from the cut part. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you eat the upper part. The lower part, you leave from the soil to the cut part above 
three or four or five centimeters. And from there, they will grow again if you water them. Give them enough soil. Yeah. Yes, I told some sisters to grow some of the scraps from the kitchen. I, you know, cut them and leave some four centimeters, five centimeters, and just plant them in the soil. Don't mm. even need to put them uh, in the garden to grow roots first or anything. No, just put them in the good soil and water them, and they will grow. Oh. And they are growing already. They gave me some photographs. Very nice. I love those things. I love to garden. I love to do farming. That's all <laughs> I wanted, if I have a chance. I love those things, to grow things and see that they're growing every day. Yes, oh, yes. yes. Wow. I did grow a, a garden when I was in Spain. Oh. Wow. It was a very little garden, not very good soil at all. I didn't even put any fertilizer or anything. I just dug the soil, sow the seeds or plant whatever I have, and then they grow and we can eat from it. Wow. But before I had all of them, I had to leave. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's nice to grow already in the between times. You enjoy, you know, you see them growing every day. Yes. Yeah, salad and carrots, little carrots, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> and coriander. Yes, yes. <laughs> coriander plant. Even in Germany, uh, I grow one peppermint in the corner, even though it's snowing in Germany. Wow. The peppermint had no problem. Oh. It grows in one corner of the house. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It just grows and stay there. Even if it was raining, he was half cover or cover under the roof of the corridor outside, in a corner of the house. And then he just stayed there forever. <laughs> <laughs> the day I left, he was still there. <laughs> green, you know, green. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Wow. Usable, forever. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Wonderful. And I also grow uh, coriander. I make two, three rows of soy. I took away the grass in the garden and grow them, they grow. Wow. Yeah, I could use it. Wonder. I couldn't eat it. And then, of course, uh, at that time, my former husband also grow tomatoes. They grow. Yes. <laughs> 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 but he did it uh, traditionally. He made compost from the leaves in the garden and all that. And the tomatoes grow very well. I offered some to some of the monks who came and visited me at my house at that time. And they liked them very much. Oh, yeah. oh. Fresh from the garden, yeah. fresh, yes. organic. Oh, yeah. It tasted really like tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you buy things in the shop, they look like tomatoes, but they don't taste like tomatoes. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. That's right. yes, not like that, not like what we grow there. Okay, so yeah, wherever you stay, you try to make the best out of that place because of our situation. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Our work is a noble work. It cleans up a lot of karma for the world. Thus, we also sometimes uh, don't have enough safety and peace. But bear with it, okay? I have the same problem. Oh, worse than you. You understand that? You know that? Understand yes, 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 I do. We are going toward our goal, our aim, our noble hope. We don't care what happens in between. Yes, yes. Master. Master. you have to understand and you have to stick to it and I will be forever proud of you. Yes, Master. <laughs> yes, master. Yes, master. When you, you move to the other place when you didn't have uh, your private room, you should have uh, quickly acquired a divider and you have more privacy. You did not have, huh? Eh? We have, yes, we, we have, have divider. Oh, immediately. We had some spare one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I never had those dividers before. I didn't know such things in the day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> before, when I travel everywhere, I'd be sometimes in a room with hundreds or thousands of people, and all I had to do was just cover myself with the clock. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Right. yes. I always have to have a jacket when I travel, because sometimes I was in a cold place, and I covered with that, and then nobody saw me, and I didn't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and I told you one time I was in India while I was uh, looking for enlightenment. Sometimes there was no room inside of uh, any ashram. So I just sat outside in this corridor. Uh, only when it rained. If not, then I just sat in the corner of the balcony somewhere and covered myself with a jacket and uh, sat on a chair 
That's it. That's all night, all day, every day. Wow. <laughs> I did not mind at all. I just feel happy to have a, a little corner alone. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Not all the Masters have big ashrams. And mm. if you go look around, some Masters have big ashrams and rooms for you to stay with others, and some don't have. Yes, right. Master. Yes, Master. Yeah, some don't have. They just have a private house. A disciple offer a private uh, a house with a couple of stories, a couple of levels. Mm -hmm. And then you just sit on a balcony somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know nobody else did because they all stay inside the house. Oh. But I stay outside on the balcony, in the corner of the open balcony. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. And I sat like that every night, except when going to eat or going to the bathroom or washing clothes. That's where I sat. And at night also, I just cover with a uh, cloak. Or if I was uh, luxury enough, I cover with an um umbrella. And I travel everywhere like that in the Himalaya also. And finally, I didn't have any umbrella even. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I had to sell everything because I didn't have a lot of money at that time. Very little. I had to laugh. Yes, Master. So anyway, you all have better than what I had, truly. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. When I was a so-called disciple, a wandering monk, <laughs> I did not have anything, truly, very little. Until later, when I stayed in a temple and cleaned and did all kinds of uh, physical work to stay there, to earn my upkeep, to earn my stay. Right. And before that, I wander around, wander around all the time in different places and didn't have a place, didn't have a room. So I just have an umbrella or a cloak. And later in Taiwan, I even stay in the ash room, the room where people put many urns of the dead people's ashes inside. Oh, right. Um, yes. It's like a cemetery, but with a roof, wow. <laughs> with a room. Wow. <laughs> With the walls and the roof. Yeah, I stayed there for retreats, three months, alone with only sesame and brown rice. Wow. I remind you of all this so that you remember that wherever a practitioner goes, he, he can stay well. Yes, yes master. master. Yes, Master. And with no complaints, just be grateful and happy that you have it. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Many people in different countries don't have even food to eat or clean water to use. You know that. Yes, yes, yes master. master. So we should never complain. Things always change all the time. Even good things, bad things will pass. Yes, yes, yes master. master. So I'm glad you did not complain when you moved to that room where you have to live together and had no room, but you have divided and you have enough privacy. Why didn't you go out in the garden or anything? Did you? Um, we did. So sometimes. Sometimes, or when you need. Okay, then yeah. it's not bad. You have a little garden, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wherever we go, we just be contented and happy. And wonderful things will happen in our soul for our spiritual level and our five, six, seven, nine generations as well. Yes, yes master. master. Even though we don't ask for anything, but the more selfless, the more sacrificial you are for others, the more spiritual level you will climb up, or God will lift you up. And you, your spiritual level, your sacrifice, your selfless service to humankind and all beings will lift your many generations up as well. Do you understand now? Understand. Yes, yes, master. So whatever you do, it's for the world because this is your, your goal, your aim, your noble intention. But you are the first to benefit more than anybody else. Understand, yes, yes, master. Master. Understand, master. So always be grateful to God that you have such luck to land in a good job like that. How many people can have enough strength spiritually, mentally, physically to do the noble job, any noble job that they want to do? Yes, yes, yes master. master. So it's your luck that you could work for Supreme Master Television, even though I keep thanking you to no end. But it's you who benefits, your relatives, your friends, your family, your acquaintances. They all will benefit from your good work. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Master. thank God, the Master, for the opportunity. Yes. Yeah, thank God, all the time. Yeah, Because 
if you complain once about your situation, then your marriage will be less immediately, automatically. Yes, Master. So don't be so silly. Yes, yes Master. Master. I know you're not. I'm just talking generally. Understand, yes, Master. Master. I'm glad for you. I'm happy for all your families, relatives, and friends, even the diseased ones. I'm happy for all of them because of you. Wow. Thank you, Master. Thanks, Thank God. you, Master. Okay. You have any good news? Did you have time to look? No, Master. Ah, then I have some for you. Oh, oh good. Thank, Thank you, you master. master. Thank you, Master. I have to do everything. Yeah, I always have to do everything. Master knows everything. Master does everything. <laughs> My God, how many hours do I have per day? I don't sleep well. I can't... Oh, man, I wish I could meditate more for the world, you know? Too much work. Mm. Yes, Master. But without all this work, we can't continue to be Master Television. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Anyway, I have some good news for you. Like, uh, for example, I just glanced at the headline. It says that the G20 all want to condemn Russia. Oh, oh wow, good. Ah, yes. very strong. And the Russian television host lost it and criticized that person was lost. You know, they repeated. Yes. Even now, openly. I hope that the host will not die mysteriously soon. Right. Yes. And China all oh, criticize Russia outright now, unprecedentedly. Wow. Oh. Oh, very good. Yeah. Isn't that something? That yes. Is, yes. Yes. Good, good changes. news. Good news. Oh, hopefully peace will come soon with everybody in one voice like that. Yes. 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 Master, let's hope so. Uh, nevertheless, one the Putin ally. He just left Russia also now. And his son died mysteriously after. Oh. My God. And then a couple died before that. Oh. oh, at least one died just before the news of this allies son who died mysteriously. Hmm. It's always mysteriously in Russia. Yes. People die mysteriously. Except in battle, then they die openly. My God, how many Russians have to die for the climbing? Even all the generals die and then... How many allies have to die already? And even the sun die. But there's one good news also. Putin has a, a so-called guru. Oh. oh. They call him Putin's brain. Wow. And now he even criticizes Putin. Oh. All right. Oh, good. Yeah, openly. Yes. Even his daughter has just died some months ago. Well, nobody knows who killed her, but uh, they think that the Ukrainian people did it, a uh, spy or something. But even his daughter died, and now he criticizes the Kremlin. He criticizes Putin anyway. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, openly. And Putin is supposed to respect that guy very much and listen to him and all that. Yes. Yes, yes sir. That's why they call him Putin's guru, or Putin's brain. And he's pro-war anyway, up to now. Hmm. So many... People are criticizing Putin. Important people, like China, for example, China officials, China politicians, and even his guru criticizing, and his television, and many allies left him or died mysteriously already. He must be pretty lonely right now, even if he's the true Putin or not. Mm, yes. So these are some uh, good news. I forgot some others. Then don't mind me, since you don't read it. <laughs> it's good so, it's good so. Watching television, normal television and reading all the television news, just headlines, maybe it's not bad, but if you keep digging deeper into television or any channels, you know, it's really not very good for you. Mm, right, Master. You need to concentrate on working on this positive power side. Our Supreme Master Television. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. Master. Yes, Master. Yes. Because the motive is a selfless sacrifice for others, for the planet, and for the world. And that's what makes you strong and handsome. <laughs> 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 it's a motive that's important. It's your mind, your noble idea, your sublime goal that makes you sublime. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. To be handsome is nothing, really. You can find a bunch of handsome guys anywhere you live. 
<laughs> yes. But even so, all this beauty outside, beautiful girls, handsome boys, this beauty doesn't last long. Yes, yes, yes master. master. After a couple of decades, they look different already. They don't look like before. All the movie stars, how they were so handsome or so beautiful, and now they show them. Oh, we feel so sorry whenever I have the chance to maybe scan around. And I feel them now, oh, she's so sorry, so sorry. My God. Mm. Well, I'm sorry for myself also. I don't look as uh, handsome as when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> Not as beautiful. But thanks to all your brothers, they do some touch-ups. They make me look so young. I couldn't recognize myself. I say, is you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to touch up so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do whatever, whatever you feel like. Maybe they like me to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes master. master. The last photo I took wasn't too bad, but they also did some touch-ups. I did not. I don't know how. <laughs> you know, I did not. <laughs> I sent the original photo. Did it look bad? No, Master. No, master. no, no. Uh, not too bad. Not so old for my age. Not too bad, right? No, no. It's good, Master. It's good, Master. Uh, that's why I send it to you. If it looked bad, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> And then your brothers they did some touch-ups, didn't they? Yes. 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 Yeah. I don't mind. They look so beautiful there. Yes, yes master. master. It's good for everybody to see a beautiful face. We all love beauty, truth, and virtues. Yes. Originally, all people's hearts love these three things. Truth, virtues, and beauty. We all love beauty, truth, and virtues. Originally, all people's hearts love these three things, truth, virtues, and beauty. In heaven, there's only beauty. There's nobody ugly in heaven, no matter what. But the thing is, not everyone can go to high heaven. They can go maybe to astral heaven, yeah, okay? Yeah. And if they're lucky, they have seen a master in their life. And maybe did something good also. Then maybe that master will continue to teach them, take care of them until they go to a higher heaven. But mostly people cannot go to higher heaven. Even to astral heaven, some people cannot go in if they didn't do something good or if they did not have an assignment from heaven before they were born. Right. I understand, yes. master. Yes. Most people, when they have a near-death experience, and they come back to the, the physical life, they remember what God told them to do. And they should have done that all their life already. But they did not. That's why they had to have mostly horrible death oh. to pay for all the sins oh. yeah, that they have done. Right. And then God has to remind them, okay, now that's it, the last warning, the last chance for you to do the things that you have been assigned to before you were born. Yes, yes master. master. That's why most of near dead people die horribly. The accidents, their whole body sometimes are all broken. And the doctor thinks they will never live again. And they actually die. They die for some time. Yeah, sometimes for 20 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes for as many hours and come back to life again. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Even if the doctor already pronounced them dead, clinically dead, meaning no more brain function, no more heart beat. Nothing. Yes, yes, master. Master. yes, Master. They're really dead. But because they have the horrible death, terrible accident and all that, so they somehow cleanse some of their sins. And God gives them the chance again to remember what they have to do. Like they have to maybe write a book to remind whoever buys it that they have to be virtuous. They have to live well. They have to remember God. Yes. But this is a lower level of God already. Still, you need to do all that. Some happen to go to a little higher dimension of heaven. Then they don't let them in. And he has to come back to tell people that they cannot go to heaven if they don't have the salvation mark. Mm. Wow. And the salvation mark is not that you do some charitable deed or something like that. No, no. The salvation mark comes from only... Uh, sublime enlightened master. Oh wow. oh, wow. The mark is invisible, but it's marked on the forehead. Wow. 
Yes. And now, some people who are initiated by the Master and practice sincerely, then of course, they can go to heaven, high heaven. It depends also on their practice, how diligent they are, and how sincere and how humble they are. And some people are not initiated by the Master physically, but maybe have met the Master somehow, or saw the Master looking at them one, even for a split second. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or maybe during the lecture, and at the end of their day, maybe they are truly humble and repentant. And then the Master also will give them that mark for them to go to a higher heaven. Wow. Oh. Wow. And then we'll still continue to take care of that soul until he gets higher and liberated altogether. Wow. 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 Never have to come back to the three lower worlds again, because the three lower worlds are destroyable. Mm. Yes. Yes, Master. They won't last forever. Yes. Even the high heaven, the third heaven, won't last forever. Because the God there is also within the cycle of birth and death. Wow. 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 Even if not in the physical realm, but still in the astral or final physical realm, still in the three worlds, they will not last forever unless they have the master continuously taking care of them in the sub realms of the three realms, like in between the realms, like between astral and the second spiritual level. Yes, yes, yes sir. Or between the second level and the third level, or between the third level and the fourth level. Uh, mm. yes, yes, master. yes, master. So if you're lucky, if people are lucky to see the master, or even not knowingly give a master something or help in some way, a small way somewhere on the road when the master is alone and voluntarily help in some way or be nice in some way, yes. all yeah. these people will be having this salvation mark. People in the hotel, taxi driver, the waiter, the waitresses, the hotel cleaner, the airport cleaner, the farmers in the field who accidentally just saw the master, or in the coffee shop, on the bus, in the airplane, in the car, etc. Yes, 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 master. yes, master. Anyway, anyway, these people are lucky people. Yeah. Yes. yes, indeed. All the people who listen to the master advice, like be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, even just be vegan and humbly repent and ask for forgiveness, the master can interfere and help them to be elevated to heaven. Not high heaven, but elevated to heaven. Won't go to hell. And then the master will continue to take care of them so that they go up, 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 and never have to suffer again. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so be humble, always ask for forgiveness. Then maybe the master can intervene and help that soul, whoever that soul may be. Yes, yes, master. yes master. All right, all the good news I told you and reminding everyone again about be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. That's not a lot that God demands, is it? No, 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 no master. master. No. no. We demand from God a lot more things. We we want world peace, but we make war. Huh? Yes. Yes. We want health, but we keep eating poison and drinking poison. Yes, true. yes. And we want everything from God. We want to be healthy, wealthy, and well married for a husband, for a child, for kids, everything. But we don't do anything for God. Yes. Yes. And God wants only be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. That's right, Master. And if you can't do good deeds, and if you see somebody doing good deeds, you clap and you praise them. That's also a good deed. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, master. Yeah, God doesn't want a lot, does He? No, 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 Master. No. no. Compared to all that we want, huh? That's right. That's yes. right. And God gives us so many things. So many things. All the food and water sun and rain and a beautiful planet to live on and we're destroying it all the time. Yeah, that's right. And we still want to live well, eat well. Huh? Aren't we horrible? Hmm? Indeed, Master. Yes. Yes, Master. What we do. It's not nice to hear. You see, God gave us so much, so much, so much and more and more invention. God sent heavenly 
high IQ people to come down to us to make new inventions, make our lives more comfortable even. And all we are doing is just destroying, killing, and behaving recklessly, horribly, and devilishly even. And then one this, one that, one other. Yes, that's right. And God wants only three things, and we don't do them. That's right, Master. Hmm? That's right, Master. Yes, that's true. Doing good deeds doesn't mean only physical, like giving money or anything like that. Even just to help a man get up from the ground on the street, if he just uh, fell down or he lost his uh, can or something, or just to be happy that somebody else does some good deeds and helps some other people. That's also good deeds. It's in the heart, you see? That's yes. Right. Yes. Because if you give a lot of money, but your heart doesn't feel good about it, doesn't feel charitable about it, then it's also not too good. That's mm. true. Good deeds means from the heart. Yes, Master. So if you just pray somebody who does good deeds, that is also a good deed. Right. Understand, Master. If you just give even one penny to a beggar on the street when he needs it, that is a very good deed. Yes, Master. Remember, Jesus prays an old woman who gave only one penny to the church when Jesus was alive. He said, this woman, he gave all she has. And her marriage is much, much greater than many who give a lot, a lot, but have no sincerity. Do you remember that story in the Bible? Yes, yes, yes we do. Master. Okay, good. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Master. Yeah, tell me. Yes, Master. There is actually some funny news. There were some protesters that threw some eggs at King Charles and Camilla. Has Master heard about this? It's not funny, is it? Well, it's not... Why you say it's funny? Not funny, but I mean it's strange that people would do that. Oh, well, that's because they are not vegans. <laughs> uh, if uh, I was out there... <laughs> oh. If I were them, probably they would throw tomatoes at me. Because I'm vegan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who knows, yeah? Yeah. Oh, not good. Yeah, uh, I don't think everyone will have all admirers in the whole world. Mm. Some would have some non-admirers. Uh, yes, true. Yes. 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 Maybe some fans of uh, the late Princess Diana. Uh, oh, yes. Right. yes. Yes. Or maybe because recently the English economy was down and some people cannot afford to use heaters. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Mm. So they can afford only maybe two hours. Ah, uh, yes. The British economy is in crisis. Well, the British pound has fallen to its lowest level ever against the US dollar. The City of London woke up to a currency crisis. Shocking the markets and leading the Bank of England to intervene. In September alone, economic output fell by 0.6%. And manufacturing over the course of the quarter fell by more than 2%. As tough as things are, they might be about to get worse, with some economists saying the economy will shrink by 1.5% in 2023. The cost of basic food supplies are rising and utilities are following suit. Domestic gas prices rose 96% based on the government's own data. Incomes stretched past their limit People have hit the breaking point. Come winter, Brian and Barbara say they'll live in their lounge, heating just one room, their answer to rising energy bills. A little further down the road and their neighbour Rafi and his family worrying too about winter and Rafi can't afford to heat all his house. But I think it depends on where you live. Huh? If you have a good house and inside normally is insulated, so it should not be that cold. And nowadays, yeah, I saw some new devices that I sent some pictures you know, to you guys. They say this takes very little electricity and warms the room also. It may not get hot like with a radiator, but it could keep the room temperature or warm enough, not frozen. So you can maybe wear some warm stuff and then it should be okay, you know, like long john under some normal clothes and then like a uh, fleece the jacket or something in the house. Yeah. Yes. A fleece jacket is not heavy and it's vegan so it keeps you very warm. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes, Master. Very comfortable. Yes, yes right. 
if you happen to be somewhere without any electricity or gas or heating, and you don't have wood, uh, if you're not in the forest and you can find any wood, or when it rains and the wood doesn't work, then you just wear double, like double trousers with some of these so-called long johns inside and double upper clothes with a fleece jacket or coat. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Then it will be warm. Many people are homeless and they have to live like that. Oh, yes. yes. They have to live maybe under the bridge or in a tent, you know, outside on the street somewhere. Or some don't have one. Just shiver somewhere in some abandoned corridor or something. Yes. That's right. Terrible. Some time ago, I wanted to fit the bar people, but I could not because it was raining and it would oh. get wet and soaky, you know, or flush away. Right. And the bar people also did not come because it was raining and wet and cold, you know, and I feel so terribly sorry for them. Oh. I feel so hurt inside my heart. It aches oh. for all the beings on this planet. And I keep telling heaven, is it hell here? What for? Has they created and not well fed. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Not having enough food. And the humans just keep spreading and keep breeding and then they cut down everything, even like the Amazon jungle and many forests and destroying many beneficial environments. Yeah, that's right. When I was in uh, Taiwan, I lived in one place where the monkey people keep coming to be fed. Mm. I fed them because they didn't have food. And oh, they keep oh. digging in the garden for some roots and all that. And also some squirrels and bird people came also. Yeah, because the forest became smaller and smaller and they don't have enough territory to survive and to find food. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And my heart always aches everywhere I go when I see the lack of basic survival for birds or wild dogs. Cat, monkey, fox, and squirrel people. So whoever I see, when I look at them and I see them so tattered mm-hmm. and not well rounded and shiny, oh, I feel so faint, so faint. I said, this word is no good, no good. <clears throat> but of course, the virtuous people, the good people, they still have food. Even if there is war or famine, if you are virtuous, and humble, pray to God every day and love God, then you will have enough food. Yes. Yes. You will always have enough to survive. You have enough food and clothes. The virtuous people will be protected by God's power, by heaven. Yes, 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 Master. Master. Even if they are not my disciples. Yes, 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 Master. Master. All they have to do is just at least be vegan then you are safer than the rest. And be virtuous and make peace. Just be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. That will ensure you your safety, your survival in times of deep trouble or war or famine. That is for sure. Oh, oh. wow, good. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, Master. Whatever happens, they just have to be vegan and ask for forgiveness and leave virtuously and benevolently, then they will be safe in any situation. Yes, yes, master. Yes, master. Ah, the humans, they're destroying everything. They don't fear God. They don't love nature. They don't appreciate what is given to them. That's why we are in deep trouble right now everywhere. Yes, Mm. master. I just hope that you turn, you turn, you turn quick, 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 as quick as possible to save themselves physically and spiritually. Yes. We just hope things get better for everybody and people listen to Master's advice. Yeah, we keep praying for that all the time. Yes. And praying every day. <laughs> because if you keep going under the rain, then you will get wet, that's it. No matter who you are. Uh, yes. 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 And at that time, don't pray to God or heaven if you keep staying in the rain. Uh, keep me dry, keep me warm, how? Huh? <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you have nothing else, then uh, we call it quits. Okay? Yes, Master. Thank okay, you, master. Master. Thank Thank you master. master, for your time today.
Thank you for calling. Maybe next time again. I, I call whenever I can, whenever possible. Okay, I'm in a difficult situation. I cannot always call and not so easily. And even now, I'm risking it to call you and to talk to you so that I can give also a message to the world and to all your brothers and sisters. Understand, yes, Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Master. This is not for you alone. Yes, Master. It's just because it's easier to call you. Because you are an easy group. Uh, you have less ego. Uh, now I tell you, don't raise your ego up. Okay, <laughs> master, master, master. Yes, master. master. Don't make me have to keep trimming you because it's very tiring to trim your ego. Yes, yes, master. yes master. Tiring, and it hurts me also in some aspects. But I uh, keep calling you guys because it's convenient to call you, and you are an easy group. Anytime, everywhere you go, you always prepare everything so that we can always communicate even with just a simple technique. You are always ready for anything, anytime. Even if you don't know or you're not sure whether or not they will call you, you always prepare. And that's how you get it. Yes, yes master. master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. It's not like I prefer you or anything in any way at all. Understand, Understand master. master. Honest to God. Yeah. So don't feel too proud or ego or anything that I call you. No master, no master. Because, because I have to give also a message to all your brothers and sisters and the world out there. That's yes, right, yes, master. That's why I have to find a way to call you. And also because you are prepared. Anytime, anytime, any minute. And uh, I appreciate that. God bless you. So that you'll be a good instrument for our work, for the world. Whomever can listen a little bit to this conversation. It will help them. Yes, yes master. master. Thank you, Master. That they may change their lives. They can become more virtuous, selfless, egoless. And God will bless them. God will save them. God will lift them up to heaven. Do you understand the importance of our conversation? Yes, we do. Yes, yes master. 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 Okay. So I appreciate your always readiness. And I appreciate your less and less ego nowadays. Uh, you still make mistakes, of course, because if the zealous ghosts cannot get me, they try to get whomever works for me or with me. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And if you are low level, you will be beaten very fast. Very fast before you even know it. Before you could even think of why it happened. Why you say this, why you did that. Why you asked for this, why you requested this. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. Against your will, against your a noble aspiration and hope. So you have to always be more humble, be more uh, thankful to God, ask God for help, ask Master Power for help. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Ask uh, all angels and protectors to protect you from temptation because it's so easy to be tempted in this world, don't you think? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. That's true. Ah, that's why I'm proud of you that you were still there at your young age. That's why God keeps giving you talent. It's not yours. It's given by heaven to bless you, to sustain you in your noble work. It's not for you to be proud of or to use it for any personal selfish uh, motive. Yes, yes, Master. So because you are still in your noble pursuit, I really am proud of you. And I'm very happy, happy, happy for you and for me to have such assistance to do God's work. You should be proud that you do God's work, not proud of anything else that you think you have or possess. Understand. Yes, Master. Yes. All right, my love. God bless you and all your colleagues all over the world that help the world, that help to do God's work. And God loves you and I love you. I really love you, all of you. We love you. Master. We love you too, master. master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. I mean, all the people all over the world who work with us on Supreme Master Television to help to spread good news, good energy, and good vibes to help the world as much as possible. Without our good energy, without heaven's blessings through us, the world would have been gone. That's how serious it was. Wow. So you heard the words before many predictions that the year 2000 something the world would end it did not end yet yes yes, yes master it would have ended oh wow. oh wow and many predictions nowadays also say that 
2023 will will be terrible. It won't be that terrible, as terrible as it should be. And many other things would have been worse if heaven had not blessed the world through us, through our work and through our meditation and prayers. Do you understand now? That's how important our work is. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Don't be proud. Just be grateful all the time that we can, that we're strong enough to even house the blessings from heaven, to spread it out on Supreme Master Television to bless the world. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. All right then. <laughs> now, I'm tired. I need to put something in my stomach, I guess. You go eat, okay? If you have not eaten. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. <laughs> yeah. I need to eat something because I work, 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 and then suddenly now I feel a little weak. Yes, Master. Yes. Yes. All right. Have a good meal, Master. Okay. Please Thank take you. care, Master. Thank you, Thank Master. You. Love you. And see you. Talk to you next time. Love you, Master. Love you, Master. Love you, Master. Thank Love you, Master. Master. May you always be safe and protected. Thank you for everything. Don't wait for a better world. Start now to create a world of harmony and peace. It is up to you and it always has been. You may even find a solution at the end of your fork. Sharon Gannon, Vegan Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.